Hi, my name is Richard Parr and I'm trying to do a documentary on big issue sales and trying to find out what the public think about them in one word. Rough. In your face. In your face. Polite. Is it a nuisance? I can't. Are these opinions correct? I'm going to try and find out and follow a big issue seller named Leighton for the day. Not too bad. Mm. So yeah, where so did you stay last night? I stopped last night at uh, just a, a, somebody's sofa, you yeah. know, just sofa surfing last night. Yeah. You know. So where, do you, where do you just sleep? Here, there, and everywhere, wherever I can get my head down, really. Mm. You so know like, what I mean? How long have you been a big issue seller? I've been selling a big issue now, on and off, for seven years. Seven as years. I've been, uh, yeah, homeless, and then I've had somewhere to live, then I stopped, and then, but yeah, it's about seven years now. So like, what did you do before then? Before I saw the big issue, I was a bit of a rogue and I used to get into trouble all the time yeah. and uh, then, you know, I became homeless and living in hostels, knocking around with the wrong people and I got myself into trouble. I went to prison yeah. and then when I got out of prison, I started selling a big issue and then I haven't looked back ever since, I've been in trouble since. You know, if you didn't, you know, wasn't a big issue seller, what would you want to be? Gosh, I'd like to have my own market stall or have my own shop. Yeah, I'd like to have my own business. What profit do you get from the Big Issue? I make 80p off each copy yeah. and that's at £1.50. And what so. do uh, Big Issue do with the profit? What? The Big Issue, what, the company? Yeah. With their profit, I don't know what they do with the profit. When, when there's a vendor on Body Shop, which is the next pitch down from me, yeah. that affects my custom because uh. a lot of people are walking up that way. So the money that I used, the Big Issues that I sold earlier, the money that I made from them, I buy more Big Issues, spend all of that on Big Issues, so then I've got like a load of big issues and then I can start making a bit of profit then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, man. So I just saved enough money to get something to eat and then I'll be back on my pitch and ready so, to go. So how can you afford the subway then? Because obviously, you know, you people, you know, subway is like a big corporate thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I only get a subway because I've got the vouchers. Yeah. See the guy in town every day handing the vouchers out there where I sold the big issues. Yeah. So luckily, I, you know, I, I seen one on the floor the other day, one of the vouchers, so I just picked it up. Oh, if you had some power in the world, what would you do to, for homeless people? Well, I'd, I'd get all them like derelict buildings that I walk past and see that they've just been there for, you know, a couple of years, just stood there, nothing done to them you know, and I've changed, turned them into like night shelters.